second first cut. Golly! Welcome to the First Cut Podcast. I'm Rick Gaiman, and today I'm not only your host, but your quiz master, because it's time. Trivia extravaganza. Not one, not two, but three ways joining us for the very first time, making his debut. Patrick McDonald. Patrick, do you have any idea what you've just walked into? I'm pretty nervous. I'm not going to lie. I I had every intention of watching last year's episode. Um, But like I said, Tom Cruise released some of his stunts from the new Mission Impossible. I got lost in those instead. But, you know, it's going to happen. Whatever happens, happens. Greg has a hat on. I'm happy to be on a show with him. It's always fun. And hopefully one of us can take down the champ, honestly. Uh, well, in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen, if you're watching on YouTube, that is uh, Greg Ducharme wearing a Jingle Bells, or does it say Jingle All the Way? It's a very oh, it festive says, uh, hat. It says Jingle This. Oh, oh, I, haven't, I, haven't worn this wow. I haven't worn this on the show before. This is it's my aggressive. program. I wear this, uh, you know, this time of year, all the time. I, I hope, yeah. And it has a it has a bell on it, so maybe well, I'm hoping to ring the bell tonight. And you know. Leading into today, I was not very nervous. Uh, I was feeling excited. I was looking forward to a revenge game. Uh, Although Kyle has the belt right now. Um, And now all of a sudden, right as the bell rings, my palms start to sweat. And I've never played in a Ryder Cup before, but I have to imagine this is kind of what it feels like. <laughs> exactly. Wow. Finally, someone gets it. That's exactly what this is. Our defending champion, that trophy on his nameplate. It's been there for a full year. He's going to put that up against Patrick and Greg today. It's Kyle Porter, KP. Welcome, champ. Uh, it's good to be here. This is low key one of my favorite pods of the year. We've got odds in the comments. I don't know if you saw this, but that's right. David has assigned odds. Kyle, you've been installed as the favorite plus one seventy five with Patrick at two twenty five, and Greg, the past champion, the long shot at plus three fifty. That's tough. That's tough to see, Greg. Yeah, it is. Um, <laughs> but look, uh, in in a class of a field like this, I get it. Um, but yeah, I, I do have some good course history, but my recent form, I guess, is struggling. I feel a little bit like Kepka in 2018, where you guys might look up and I might have four of these before oh. like, you, you even know what happened. So I feel good. I'm confident. Um, yeah, I'm ready to rock and roll. All right, let's talk about the format here. It's very, very to what we have done in uh, the past. We are going to start with... A little bit of a, a warm-up question. Uh, it'll be a Price is Right style question, closest without going over. The winner of that question will receive the first point, and they will be able to choose the order that we go in. Then we will enter five different categories. Each of you will get a question, uh, one question from each category. And then after that portion of the show, we will take the two highest scores to the championship round. And the championship round is the infamous Stump the Schwab style format where there are many correct answers and our two combatants will go back and forth until one can no longer answer correctly. And then at that point, we will have a champion. That is where Greg infamously uh, gave Steve Flesh a Ryder Cup position at Steve, one point. Steve Pate or Steve Flesh? Who was it? I think uh, I think it might have been Steve Flesh. I'm I'm glad Patrick <laughs> didn't watch that episode last night. That what was, was the question? Name was, a U.S. Ryder Cupper. Yeah, ever. Oof. But you had yeah, to keep. I mean, we them. were. You guys we were, were like, like deep in it. No, no I mean no. that was the problem. <laughs> Not as deep as Steve as we should have been at that point. Yeah, I didn't mention Jack Nicholas or Lee Trevino or you know there was a lot of names out it. there. Yeah, any I, questions? I like my odds now. Yeah, you should. Yeah, the board might be correct. <laughs> any questions, concern, concerns, or comments before we get out of here, Patrick? This is your first time. Are you cool with this? You got any any issues? Uh, yeah, I'll take it all in stride. Okay. Do I get two trophies if I win? Like, do I on my name? Yeah, we're play? gonna have to we're gonna have to talk to like the the board on this. Is it a is it like a, a green jacket situation where you just 
you know, you can take your green jacket off, off campus, uh, for one more year, but you only have one of them. Or is this where you just start piling up a trophy case? We got it. We got to figure that out. I, I think if you go back to back, you should get a second trophy, mm. but I'll if, give you two. yeah, I, I think that's fine. But then after that, if you lose next, if you lose the next year, yeah. uh, then they're, gone. they're both gone. You lose them. Both. Yeah. Okay. I like that for, for double good. trophies. Uh, gentlemen, I've asked you to come prepared with a pen and paper. Do we have that handy? Thank you much. The warm up question worth one point and to choose the order uh, closest without going over. How many golfers have earned at least $5 million on the PGA tour, according to the official PGA tour career money list? Wow. Take, take, take a second. Write it down. Closest without going over. $5 million. That is the benchmark I'm looking for. And obviously, that dates back to start of the PGA Tour. Official money. A quick uh, question. Yes. Are all the questions this difficult? Uh some are easy. Some are a little bit more difficult. This is intentionally uh, random. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I don't expect you to actually know this. I just expect you to kind of put together a reasonable guess. I think we, oh. do we have it locked in. Greg looks like he wrote it down. Patrick I might be it. writing right now. Kyle, are you ready to rock and roll? Yep. Uh, okay. You don't have to uh, show me, but I didn't want you to just make guesses off of everybody else. So, so uh, Patrick, we'll start with you. What's your, what's your guess? I said 75. Okay. Patrick's guess is 75. Greg? Uh, I went a lot higher. Uh, 149. Okay. Kyle? I went even higher. 220. 220. He's holding up a uh, piece of a notepad that says 220. So 220 for Kyle, 149 for Greg, 75 for Patrick. The correct answer. Golfers who have earned at least $5 million on the PGA Tour, according to the career money list, 363. Kyle Porter- <laughs> out early in his title defense point number one on the board for ukp patrick looks like he doesn't know which way the wind's blowing he doesn't even know what <laughs> what the part of the hole is he looks like things are moving quickly over there yeah he's in he, he's in a three ball with uh tiger and jack and he's just hanging on for dear life at the moment yeah th this is a tough scene you know I, I say a lot of stupid stuff behind the scenes but now that it's being broadcasted <laughs> out there it, i'm i'm in my head completely right now just hit a shank off the first hole. It's fine. 363. Last man in, Cam Percy. Wow. Five million four nine one seven. So four thousand nine hundred seventy dollars. So I I didn't know the number, but I tried to back into it because I knew that Arnold Palmer was like I th I think he was like three or four mil, and I knew he was pretty deep on that list, like in the hundreds, several yeah. hundred. Last man out, Dennis Paulson. Four million nine hundred eighty-three thousand eight seventy-one. Okay. Now he's on the radio, right? He yeah, is. he should try to get mm -hmm. an exemption to clear the five mil mark. <laughs> uh, all right, Kyle Porter on the board. One point for KP goose eggs for the other two gentlemen. Now we enter into our categories. Five different categories. There are three questions in each category, but each of you will only receive one. So when it's your turn, uh, you will get to choose question one, question two, or question three. You'll get to choose what category you want. By the time it's all said and done, I'll keep track of it. You'll get one question from each category. And Kyle, you're going to be able to choose the order here if you want to go first, second, or third. Um, but here are the five categories for the 2022 Trivia Extravaganza. Troy, do we have the bottom line? Maybe. Here they are. Category number one. Golf is played outside the U.S., Kyle. That's category number one. Category number two. Is, is my name part of the category? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. I got you. I got you. <laughs> category That's number good. two. Live or let live. Mm. Category number three. We're bringing it back. The popular this or that. That's a 50-50 shot, Patrick. So you're good there. <laughs> 
<laughs> you're already taking blows oh. at me. For one question. <laughs> well, you look like you are gonna like uh, you're gonna pass out. I'm processing. He looks like Matt Fitzpatrick. He looks like Matt Fitzpatrick at the 2016 Ryder Cup. Just out of his world, doesn't know what's going on. Just, just There's flummoxed. Wow. Lot. Imagine losing to Matt Fitzpatrick in the Ryder Cup. Couldn't be me. Couldn't be me. We'll see. Category number four. Major motivations. And category number five, name that resume. God, those Ooh. are hard. Okay. <laughs> so right, Kyle, you choose the order here, bud. I like I choose for each person, or no, I just you're choose just gonna choose like uh, no, who goes first, second, and third, and then like it, so if you say Greg goes first, I'm gonna say, okay, Greg, what category and what question do you want? Okay, so I want to really go not first. That. Okay. Uh who's gonna go second? Uh, Greg. Okay. And then Patrick's going to go third. All right. So Kyle, you're up first. So you get to choose uh, the category and question one, question two, or question three. Okay. So is it three points for the third question or is it one point each? Everything is one point unless I specify otherwise. The, the daily major, double. The major motivations category, um, there are two points available, but it's kind of like a two-part question. Okay. So I actually want to go with the major motivations. Okay. Uh, in an upset, I'm not picking the question from my own name, but yeah, we'll go, we'll go major motivations. And what question number one, two, or three? Uh, one. Okay. Kyle has gone with major motivations. Question number one. Only two golfers have ever won the same major in four consecutive occurrences. Young Tom Morris did it at the open championship. Who is the other? And now Kyle, you get one point for the name and one point for the major four consecutive four consecutive four Pete. Okay. It, it hasn't, uh, it hasn't happened at the masters. Um, This is crazy. I'll say Harry Varden at the Open Championship. Uh, Kyle's answer, Harry Varden at the Open Championship. Uh, both are incorrect. Okay. The correct answer, Walter Hagen at the PGA Championship from 1924 okay. to 1927. Greg, you looked like you were sniffing that one. Uh, I had it wrong. I had another idea, another open, another great Open champion, but it was incorrect. Yeah, that yeah. was that was hard. That was a Very. tough one. I was thinking more like Jimmy Walker PGA Championship myself, but <laughs> close. I I wouldn't. I would not have gotten Harry Varden PGA. I knew it wasn't the Masters. I didn't think he was the U.S. Open, so I had it down to PGA and and Open Championship. But I, I wouldn't have thought it was the PGA. I believe that one skews towards the harder end. Harder end of things. Uh, okay, Greg, you're up. So category again, golf is played outside the U.S. Kyle. Live or let live, this or that, major motivations, or name that resume. I, I, will, <laughs> I will go this or that, question one. This or that, question one, goes to Greg. These are very simple, Greg. Here we go. Baltus Roll or Marion, which has hosted more men's U.S. Opens? Mm -hmm. Marion. Greg's answer is Marion, which is incorrect. The answer, oh. Baltus roll, seven to five. Baltus roll, most recently in 1993. Marion, though, Greg, maybe this is what got you. Most recent, 2015. Yeah, I think it was the recent. Uh, I knew Marion had five. But I think Balti, it was 2013. Sorry, 2013. Um, right, where Justin Rose won. Yes. I just, I thought that. Balti had some P. I know it has some Balti. PGAs in there, but I, I didn't think it had that many U.S. Opens. That was the other trick part of the question. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's not just U.S. Opens. All right, Patrick. Look, look at the, the the the. You know, we've got a couple of balls out of play here. We've got we've got an opening for you to get out and uh, get towards the front. What everyone's category? everyone's yeah. talking a big game. A lot of golf left. A lot of golf left. Um. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't like kind of the vibe of those two categories. So let's go. Uh, let's go with live. <laughs> live or let live. All right. 
Patrick, question one, two, or three? Let's go with three. Question three for Patrick. Live or let live? Name the 35-year-old current live golfer who has zero PGA Tour wins, but 18 professional wins, including two on the European Tour, seven on the Asian Tour, and another 12 on a tour based in the second most populous country in the world. Lahiri, final answer. Patrick's answer, Honor Bon Lahiri, is correct. He's on the board and tied nice. for the lead. Yes, well done. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, did you know who that was uh, before I got to the second most populous country in the world? Uh, I did, yeah. Wow. Okay. I thought that would be like the the helpful hint otherwise. Well, it's more like these like uh, history questions I know I'm going to suffer on compared to these guys. So more recently, I think, is my only chance. So how to get on the board quick. Uh, round one in the books. Things are getting hot and heavy. You don't want to miss it. But first, we need to take a quick break and hear a word from our partners. And we're back. Top of round two, Kyle Porter, back to you. Patrick has tied you. Uh, you have gone with major motivation. So that's off the board for you. Your next category will be which? Let's go with this or that. This or that. Question two or question three? Two. Question two. This or that. Iger Woods or Andrew Landry? Most, <laughs> Excuse me? Yeah. Most recent PGA Tour winner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kyle's doing, doing a little thinking now. Okay, so I know Tiger's last PGA Tour win was the Zozo in 2019. <laughs> this is a stupid question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the point. <laughs> Landry won. I feel like he's won the American Express like five times. It's not that he hasn't, but it feels like he has. Did he win it in 2020? American Express 2020. I don't know who won it then. I'll say Andrew Landry, more recent. Kyle Porter has selected Andrew Landry over Tiger Woods as the most recent PGA Tour winner, and he is correct. Andrew Landry won the American Express in 2020 uh, of Je nice. January 2020, and as noted, Tiger Woods last won in October of 2019 at the Zozo Championship. KP Let's up go. to two points. Well done. All right, Greg. Uh, let's get that zero off your nameplate. You have. Let's do it. You've gone with this or that, so the other four four categories are open to you. I will go with um, major implications. It's called major motivations, <laughs> but that's okay. Wow. Well, for me right now, it's major implications. <laughs> yes, usually, there are. Usually, the implication, you know. <laughs> I like alliteration, so you'll you'll see me, you know, double up on the M's and the L's and the things like that. So major motivations. Question two or question three? Uh, question three. Question three for Greg. Sorry in advance, Greg. This is this is probably the hardest question on the board. Oh, great. <laughs> 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 All right. Remember, we're in major motivations. <clears throat> yeah. Winning exactly two majors in a year is a rare feat. But there is one combination of two majors. That is the most common to win. Name. <laughs> <laughs> this is so hard. Name the two majors that are most common for exactly two victories in a year. It's happened seven times. You get one point for the combination of majors and one point for a golfer who accomplished said feat. Any golfer? Oh. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. One of the, one of the seven. All right. Um, huh. It's not an easy one. That's it's, for sure. I think it's the hardest question on the board. All right. I will say I feel like All right. I'm going to say the Masters and the Open and the golfer I'm going to name is 
Mark O'Mara. He didn't go with Woods. He didn't go with Palmer. He didn't go with Nicholas. He didn't go with anybody of that stature. He went with Mark O'Mara, which is correct. Wow. And the combination that he went with was the Masters and the Open Championship, which is correct. Two four wow. for Greg Dushar. Wow. Well done, Greg. All right. That's uh, impressive. Yeah, that so is. I, I thought it was Masters and PGA. Here's the seven. Palmer, Nicholas, Player, Watson, Faldo, O'Meara, Woods. There you go. Big, <laughs> big leap there, Greg. That's I just well knew done. I knew that O'Meara did, and I knew that there were a couple of other legends that had, and I thought I, I thought you could get to seven. I couldn't have gotten there, but. That's well it. That's, that's pretty. That's it. That's Damn. good. Yeah, that's he's, impressive. He's come for, he's come for Greg came to play. He came yeah. to play. All right, Patrick, you are the uh, final question of round number two. You have already opted for live or let live. So only that category is out of play for you. Where would you like to go next? All right, let's uh, let's get this disaster out of the way. Major motivation. <laughs> major motivation. So you have the last remaining question in major motivation. So that's question number two. There have been seven true wire to wire major wins since 2000 tiger has three of them rory two name any of the other three one point for the golfer one point for the major championship when you mean when you say true do you mean they led outright after each round are you attempting to clarify for your opponent or would you yeah, I was just curious. I was just trying to help <laughs> yes, them out. Yes, correct. A true wire-to-wire -wire victory, meaning that you outright led after each round. Uh, a, a tie after any round would not count as a wire-to-wire -wire win. Since yeah. 2000. That is correct. Do I need the year of the major? Uh, the way that I have it listed, yeah, you do. Okay, I'm going to go Brooks Kepka 19 PGA. Brooks Kepka 2019 PGA Championship is correct and correct. Two full points for Patrick. Anybody have the other two? Jason Day 15 PGA. Keimer, uh, 16 US Open. Keimer, mm, good one. 14. 14. US Open. 14. Yeah, Pinehurst. Uh, uh, Patrick, what? What did you, that one wasn't correct? What did you say? Jason Day, Day 15. No. no. I was thinking Scheffler in the Masters this year, but I don't I don't know that he led outright after round tied. one. Yeah. MJ had first round this year. Uh DJ in the twenty twenty Masters. There were ties in that one. Um Oh, uh Ustazen at the twenty ten open championship. Mm -hmm. Jordan Spieth at the twenty fifteen Masters. Wow. Mm -hmm. Uh yeah. Okay. Wow. It's embarrassing that, that I didn't get that. Two big points. And let me just say we are two complete rounds in and the newcomer the first timer the debutante patrick is out front this has a bad feeling of kind of that guy in the final round of a major for the first time situation like hv3 at, at pga championship charlie hoffman at the masters nick watney back in the day at whistling straits um yep. yeah a lot could go wrong moving forward i know that it's aware Three points for Patrick, two for Kyle and Greg. KP, back to the top. This is round number three. You have already gone with this or that. You've already gone with major motivation. So your options are name that resume, live or let live. And Ky uh, Kyle has played outside the golf. Now, golf is played outside the U.S., Kyle. <laughs> uh, let's go live or let live. live? Question, uh, qu I don't know. What's left? One or two. Uh, well, let's go two. Live or let live, question number two. Name the current live golfer who was born in McAllen, Texas, and shares dual citizenship of two North American countries. Abraham answer. Correct. Abraham answer one point for Kyle. I think that was the I think that's the easiest question on the board. Those are the two. Greg got got both got uh, uh both were answered correctly. Abe answer, uh born in McAllen. Obviously went to Oklahoma, both a, a citizen of Mexico and the United States. Well done. Very well done. Thank you. All right, Greg. Uh, coming off a great two-pointer in major motivations, that is no longer available to you. This or that is off the board. Where would you like to go? 
I would like to go to name that resume. Well done. Thank you for participating. <laughs> yes. And uh, would you like question one or two? I would like or question three. one. Question one. Okay. All you have to do is name that resume. Here we go. Graduating from the Challenge Tour in 2011, this golfer has twice appeared on a Ryder Cup team, had two top tens in majors this year, and has won as recently as this fall. One as recently as this fall. Two Ryder Cup appearances. And all you have to do is name that resume. Wow, that's a hard one. Um, it shouldn't be. The recent stuff always gets me. Um, let's see. I will say Tommy Fleetwood. See, this one was a little tricky. This one was a little tricky. Uh, <laughs> but Greg was not fooled because Tommy Fleetwood is correct. That victory, the Ned Bank Golf Challenge, which he successfully that was, defended. That was solid. After a three-year break. Yeah. Well done, I knew I, I smelled yeah. it on you, Rick. Yeah. There's you know, some tricky ones out there. I'm trying to catch up. That could have been in a different category, too, by the way. Uh, what category? What? The golf is played outside the U.S., Kyle? Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll see what happens when we get up there. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Uh, Greg, look at this. Look at this. We are we're, we are at the last question of the third round, and we are deadlocked at three. The boys have showed up for this. Patrick, uh, you get to close us out in round three. You have gone with live or let live and major motivations. Yeah, I'm hoping kind of just following Greg on all these categories. He's eaten up all the hard ones. Okay. Um, so I'm going to – I'm going back to name that resume. Name. Okay, what question? <laughs> Two or three. Uh, let's let's go three. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was actually just oh, marking your name. All right, here we go. Name that resume. This golfer won four times as a sophomore and was named first team All American at this at his SEC university before deciding to turn pro. He's won twice in each of the last two calendar years, but has never finished inside the top 15 at a major championship. Name that resume. Twice. So he has four wins in the last two years. He has won twice in each of the last two calendar years. <laughs> Kyle, shut up. <laughs> um, okay. Interesting. But it, it, what was the last thing? He doesn't have a top 15. At a major? That is correct, Kyle. Which is what Patrick hopes I'll be saying to him in a second. Oh, man. Now, this, this one's... I'm not going to get this one. Um, hmm. Can't twice in calendar year. I'm going to go Sam Burns. The answer of Sam Burns uh, from Patrick. What SEC university would that be? LSU. LSU. Is correct, Sam Burns. Nice. Wow. Four times a winner at LSU. First team All-American. Forgoes his final two years of collegiate golf to turn pro. Four wins in the last two calendar years, but struggles at major championships. Patrick, well done. Fun fact about Sam Burns. I played in a tournament with him one time, and he beat me by 40 over two rounds. I didn't play competitive golf the next summer. I'm actually kind two, of. Two rounds. Not four. <laughs> yep. Yep. Um, it can happen. Okay. Thanks, thanks Greg. <laughs> we are three rounds deep, and Patrick has maintained the smallest of margins. One. As we enter the fourth round, back to the top, Kyle. You only have two categories remaining. One is name that resume, and the other is <laughs> golf is played outside the U.S., Kyle. I'm going with my my surname. Actually, not my surname. I'm going with my name. Um, golf is played outside the U.S., Kyle. Just to <laughs> hopefully stick it to all the trolls here. Uh, question one, question two, or question three? Two. Question two. Of the top eight European Tour career money winners, Four of them are now members of Live. Name them all. C 
career money winners? Correct. Okay. This feels like a trick. <laughs> Lee Westwood is one. That is correct. Henrik Stenson is one. That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. Um I think Ian Poulter's one. Is that a, is that a, are you are you entering that into the Yes, Ian okay. Poulter. That is correct. Okay. And then it's between uh, – okay, so European career money winners. Is there somebody that would have won – is it is – it, does this include major championship money? Like is, is – I guess my question is, is Tiger on the list? Um, I, it is uh... – do you, do, you, do you see what do you know what yes, I'm asking? I, I, I see I see the I see the concern here. Um are you Patrick and Greg okay if I clarify this? No. Sorry. <laughs> well I will tell you I will tell you it is the it is the ofi- official European tour money list. This is this stinks. And I think that's right, Patrick. I would not have wanted to clarify either yeah, if I was in the game. That's what you get for laughing at my two times each year. <laughs> uh, he's, got, he's got three. One more guess. He needs to find the 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 final. Okay, so my concern is that if it's if it includes if it includes majors, then DJ I think is a problem. If it doesn't, it's between. Uh, Graham McDowell and uh, Paul Casey. And the the weird thing is that McD- or that I, I think it, I think if it's between those two, it's Paul Casey. But Paul Casey like quit the European Tour four years ago, so he hasn't really even played on it. So it's four of the top eight ever. Correct. Moneyless leaders. So the others would be like, it'd be like Tiger, Rory, Rom, Colin Montgomery. I don't know. I'll I'll say Paul Casey. Paul Casey is... uh... Kyle's final guess here, and it's incorrect. Now, I think it might be a little bit of a consolation that it was neither of the two that you were going back and forth between, uh, because third in all time money on the DP World Tour, the European Tour, Sergio Phil? Garcia. Oh, oh, <laughs> whoa! <laughs> oh, Nino. <laughs> yeah. So the top eight: uh, Rory Westwood, Garcia. Rose Stenson, Ells, Patty Harrington, Ian Poulter. So it, it was likely not including that major money because DJ DJ yeah. doesn't show up. I forgot. I forgot that Sergio was. Yeah. I thought I thought Poulter was the hard one, which you got and quickly. And I was like, oh man. Yeah. This is, this, I, this, I just I just busting. wow. I just botched it. The door is open, gentlemen. The champ might not even make it to the Stump the Schwab championship round. We've got things to do, Greg. Uh, you can choose between live or let live, and golf is played outside the U.S., Kyle. I will go um, golf is played outside the U.S., Kyle. Question one or question three? Question one. Question one to Greg. Golf is played outside the U.S. Kyle. This well-decorated golfer has 11 professional wins, including two on the PGA Tour, two 
on the Asian tour, two on the Korean tour, two on the Philippine golf tour, and three on the Asian development tour. Tom Kim. Oh, quick with the answer, and it is correct. Tom Kim, 11 already. Trophies on the mantle. A point for Greg. Uh, only 20 years old. Cannot drink in the United States yet. That is amazing. I thought that was going to be tough. Well, he's just so recent. <laughs> <laughs> Greg has, for the moment, tied lead. But Patrick, you could break out uh, as you have after each of the last two rounds and leaped in front of everyone. So you have two options. Your two options are uh, golf is played outside the U.S., Kyle, and I believe live or let live? No. Uh, this or that. Uh, oh, I haven't done that, that yet. Yes, that. But uh, let's, let's keep with the trend. Let's go with uh, Kyle's category. Okay. Patrick has opted for golf is played outside the U.S. Kyle, it is question number three. <clears throat> Not to be confused with a PGA Tour award, the winner of the DP World Tour's Order of Merit receives what trophy, and I need its exact name. Oh, boy. Um, okay. The Harry Varden Trophy. Patrick has said... The Harry Varden Trophy. And that is correct. Yes. I thought Kyle was going to uncover that question after mentioning him earlier. And I was like, <laughs> oh, boy. Like, I got I got one brewing for you later. Full point to Patrick. Patrick moves on to the finals. Patrick has solidified his spot. Yes. Um, oh which uh. is splendid for a, for a debutante. Congratulations, Patrick. Feeling uh, like fuzzy at the Masters. Uh, that final spot will come down to Kyle or Greg. So we know. So really, this question, because Kyle is up at the top of the uh, the fifth round here, he needs it, needs it, and he needs a, a, a Greg missed penalty kick. That's where we're at right now. A goal and a save. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I need a miracle. All right, KP. I believe uh, your final question comes resume. out of name that resume. <laughs> It's question number two. This web.com graduate and rookie of the year was ranked 25th in the world at the end of 2017 and has improved his year end rank each of the last four years. Say it again. Yes. This web.com graduate and rookie of the year was ranked 25th in the world at the end of 2017 and has improved his year end rank in each of the last four years. Rookie of the year on the, on the PGA tour. Yes. Okay. Sorry. It's better drama. If we have like a tiebreaker situation, <laughs> 25th in 2017, um, I'll say Justin Thomas. Justin Thomas. And actually, um, well, my question might be flawed here. So I'm gonna I'm I'm, I'm sending it. <laughs> wow! I, I'm sending it to. Hold on, I'm sending it to the to the panel here. Um, give me one second, because I, I there might be multiple answers. Uh, okay, no, 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 no. Justin Thomas is incorrect. Okay. The answer is Xander Shoffley. Okay. So Xander Shoffley won in 2017, jumped into the 20, 25th spot in the uh, world rankings, has improved each of, each and every year. Right now, he's sixth in the world. Uh, I was just making sure that JT didn't qualify because I didn't say what year he won Rookie of the Year, which could have been confusing, but JT has not improved his year-end rank each year. So I wanted to confirm that before I rolled on it. Wow. We're going to have a new for, champ. Rick, thank you for that. We're going to have a new champ, boys. Kyle. Um, the champ The champ bows out. Valiant effort, but now you've got you've to ride here with me the rest of the way. Great. 
Uh, All right. You're, you're in. This is just for practice reps. Lay it on me. Your final question comes from, uh, I believe, live or let live. Does that sound right? Uh, it does. Yes. Question number one. Name the current live golfer and three-time PGA Tour winner who was born in North Bay, Ontario, Canada, but plays under the American flag. Jason Kokrak. Jason Kokrak. Correct. Give him his fifth point for Greg and Patrick uh, just for your practice reps and actually for a clean sweep of the board. A perfect record of Jordan Spieth, 5-0-0, but in this situation, it's six. Perfect. I've heard, it, I've heard it's never been done before. I don't well, know if that's true. We kind but... of have different formats every year, so I don't know. Um, your final question, I believe, is this or that. Does that sound right? Correct. Yep. All right, so 50-50 shot here. Florida or California? Home to more Tiger Woods victories. <laughs> um, it's a gr great question. Thank you. Great. That's the best the, compliment. The questions, the questions yeah. this year were phenomenal. Great. <laughs> That's you. a great so question. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I'll just go uh, Florida since I think it's California. For a perfect score, Patrick, who has not gotten one wrong, has gone against his instincts and gone with Florida. Correct. And he is correct. 16 <laughs> wins API. California, 14. Patrick, perfect six points. He's headed to the finals with Greg. Uh, we got a barn burner here, boys. What, wow. uh, what, what, what's, what's the mindset, Patrick? Uh, nerves are definitely still there. I kind of feel like that Patriots team with, uh, Tom Brady, Randy Moss, the perfect team. And, you know, they had that tough regular season game at the end against the giants and then met them back in the super bowl. I feel like we could have a situation here where Greg might get the better of me in the end. Uh, Greg, I imagine you're not just happy to be here. You're out for victory. Uh, oh, I've been in the finals every year, which I'm proud of, uh, but it's not enough. I want the trophy. <laughs> But okay. this is a very nerve wracking. It's an extremely nerve wracking part uh, yeah. in this competition. Well, we're entering the championship round. It's stump the Schwab style. Um, we're going to get to that. We're going to get Kyle's thoughts on this on this format here, which is unique to say the least. But first, we're going to take a quick break and hear a word from our partners. And we're back. Uh, KP, you will not defend your crown this year, but this this format, where there are seemingly countless correct answers. Uh, it, it, it's mental, right? You got to hold many answers in your brain at one time. It's, it, this is a true test of trivia knowledge. Yeah. And I, and I think the biggest key, uh, and I think, I, I think Greg and I actually talked about this last year is you need to be, think, you need to have three answers, two or three answers in your head at one, uh, like at, at all times, because once you only have one and then the other person takes it, it's like double the blow because not only did they take your answer, but you're just on tilt because you're like panicking to come up with another one. So I think the biggest key is to keep two answers in your head at all times. The order is important here because uh, if you go first and get it wrong, the other person has to answer correctly in that round or vice versa, right? So it's, it's by round here. Uh, so we're going to have another Price is right, closest without going over, and then that person will choose whether they want to go first or second, okay? Okay, good. I don't want to pick, and I'm pen, bad at this. Pen and paper, please. <laughs> pen and paper, please. Uh, closest without going over. As of last night, when I made these questions, the combined Twitter followers of Max Homa and Harry Higgs. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Patrick looks like he's writing and Greg, I can hear scribing. Okay. okay. I've written. Okay. Uh, I'm Kyle, done. do you have, uh, you want to take a guess at this just for kicks? I, I, I don't know how many Higgs has, I'll say <laughs> 620 total okay. thousand. We'll remember that 620 Patrick. Four, what does it say? 420 or 920? 420. 420. Okay. Greg said five, 510,000. The correct answer. 572,500. So closest without going over. 
Greg. Good job, Greg. Uh, All right. H- Higgs um, makes up 79,000 of those. Okay. You want to go first or second? I want to go second. Ooh, see, that's interesting. Kyle, what do you think about that, Kyle? He gave up his opportunity for a correct answer to know what he has to do. Is that the right move? Uh, I think so. Okay. Well, we're going to find out. I think, well, I, think I don't know. Right. I mean, it's one less, you know, one less question, like, that, one less answer that could be available you, to him. You want yeah, to play in the full but, group, you know? I think it's, I think it's like deferring to get the ball in the second half. I think yeah. you're, I think you're, I think that's what, I think that's the play. All right, gentlemen, we shall see. Stump the schwa back and forth for the championship. I'm uh, shaking in my boots. Here we go. The Haskins Award is presented annually by the Haskins Commission to honor the most outstanding golfer in the United States. There are 47 different winners since this history, since this award has been created. <laughs> and we are going to name as many as possible. And uh, Patrick, you <laughs> are on the team. <laughs> this, this is going to be... Uh, Smiley Kaufman, final round at the Masters. I will warn everyone. uh, I have to manually check a list. So, like, it might take me five seconds to figure out if that is a correct answer or not. So, don't. Oh, great. Yeah, there's a sweat. (laughs) There's a sweat involved. Um, I'm gonna go with Tagala. Sahith Tagala, 2020 Pepperdine is correct. Greg. Okay. Uh, you should make I... him give you year and school also. <laughs> we'll, we, we'll be done in about three seconds. <laughs> I mean, we might be done in three seconds anyway. <laughs> this is this is hard. This, this, this is, is really like, hard. This is the level that I think we should be tested at, Rick. You did a great job. This is, this is a great, Thank great you. contest. Thank Serious you. embarrassment opportunity. Yeah. Well, uh, because Steve Flesh didn't get it done for you. Yeah, that that yeah. wasn't the embarrassing part. It, it, you might have won this, though, Greg. You might want to think about yeah, that. Just yeah, just run it back. Try it again, happened. Greg. <laughs> I will go with Bryson DeChambeau, SMU. No, he didn't win it. I don't think it's so. over. No. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Patrick McDonald. Oh my gosh. How many more you want? I can list them off. Has been uh, the beneficiary of another wow. vintage Greg wow. Duchamp. Unbelievable. Club. Gosh. Wow. I, I mean, you, you never want to win this way, right? You don't want to see your competitor miss a putt like that. Um, but someone's got to win the championship at the end of the day. And I put myself in position, kept peppering fairways, middle of the green, took my two putts, and Attack pins when I had to, and Greg could have gone a lot of ways. I think Patrick Rogers, Maverick McNeely, Crenshaw, Can't Mickelson, lay. Woods, Cantlay. There, there's a lot of ways he could have gone, but I'm this, glad he went with were obvious to me. Tiger and Phil weren't obvious. To you? Well, Tiger and <laughs> Phil were, but I'm trying to save them. I mean, my right <laughs> out of the gate, the doll is my Tiger first one. Oh, um, disaster. Wow. So okay. Wow. So let let's clear some of the dust here so in 2015 when when bryson was the individual national champion uh mav mcneely won the haskins award that year i'm also going to need the clip of greg uh, saying bryson to and kyle's face going like i don't oh, think so no, SMU. Uh, greg he was on like sunday night football or something <laughs> he was so confident with that pick all right so let, let, I was let's ve- go i was very con- i i was very confident. We we've named let's throw them out. We've named we got Patrick Rogers, Mav McNeely, JT, uh, Justin Thomas, 2012 Alabama, Tiger Phil, Tiger Can't Phil lay. won it three times. Tiger in 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 '96, Can't lay twice. Uh, or I'm sorry, Can't lay. It was UCLA second, uh, 2011. Um, yeah. I think Fowler won it. No. No. Okay. Hmm. Did uh, um, did Matt Wolf win it? Matthew Wolf, 2019, Oklahoma State. They're eighth. Ooh. I think Charles Howell. Charles Howell, the fifth for OK State, 2000. Texas. Did Spacey Wittenberg? Oh, that's a good one. Nope. Oh. oh. Spieth? Nope. No who, on Wittenberg. Who won it this year? Was it uh... no on Wittenberg? Yeah, who won it this oh, year? Oh, it was the OU guy, uh, the big, bo- the big uh, fellow. Got her up. Got yeah. her up. 2022, uh, Oklahoma's I first. Kn- I knew Dang. that one. 
My God. Uh, I, Crenshaw won the first one ever, I think, right? Crenshaw won the first three ever. Oh, there you nice. go. Uh, uh, Justin Leonard. Texas, 1994, Justin Leonard. Hmm. He popped into my head. <laughs> Bryson DeChambeau. Oh, man. I was surprised to see Bryson was not on the list. I, I will I will to say that, Greg. Yeah, I thought for sure. I mean, he won the USAM and the national championship in the same year. I guess he got hot late. A uh, couple uh, recent ones. John Wise. Wise. Oh, I was going to say Wise. Uh Aaron but I don't Wise? think he, I don't no. think he did. did not. He just hmm. We do have okay, so there is a within the last handful of years, there is an Oregon golfer. Not named Aaron Wise. He went to Oregon. Oh, uh, Norman Zhang. My buddy, Norman Zhang, yeah. Yeah. 18, Oregon. Stick. <sighs> so good. Uh, uh we got a couple other Texas Longhorns. Scott no, not Scotty. Did Scotty? He didn't do it. No. He didn't win the Haskin. What about Scott for Plank? I think he did. Uh, Scott for Plank, 1986. Pretty good. What a Tech, te A couple other Texas guys. That's a Ryder Cooper for you too, Greg, for Plank. <laughs> yeah. 2016 <laughs> Texas. 2016 Texas? Oh, uh, uh, he finished second at the Riviera USAM. Oh, Gim. Doug Gim? Oh. He loves himself a good visor. A oh, bow. Bow. oh, hostler. Oh. Wow. Mm -hmm. um, There's got to be some Georgia guys in there. Like there uh, are. Yeah. Like, like Harris English. Pat Patrick Reed. No, uh, I don't think Reed not Patrick Reed. Uh, what was the other one? Harris English. Yeah. No. But like uh, all their Chris friends. Kirk. Chris Kirk. Oh. No, Chris Kirk. Brendan Todd. Uh, just that one. <laughs> no, Brendan Todd. All their <laughs> friends. Uh, Kisner? Nope. Nah, he wasn't. We're Swafford. circling it, though. Nope. Who? Swafford? Swafford, no. You said all their friends. That is that is all their friends. Yeah. None uh, of them want it. I thought their friends were Matt Kuchar. Uh, who, who Georgia Tech. He's a Georgia Tech guy. Oh, okay. I thought you just meant Georgia, the state. Because also... Uh, Mark's neighbor, Russell Henley, 2010, Georgia. Oh, yeah. He's what about Jonathan Bird? What about Jonathan Bird? No. What about uh, our very own Colt Nost? No. Oh, Ryan Moore wanted, I think. Ryan Moore, UNLV, yeah. 2005. Yeah. Uh, Wake Forest has a couple. Webb. Webber. Oh. Sorry, oh. I thought he had one. Oh, uh, Bill, Bill Haas. Uh, Bill Haas, 2004, Wake Forest. That's right. Hmm. Wow. Okay. Uh, all right, the ones we missed. Most recently. I, I put, wait, hold on. There, uh, uh, did Jamie Lovemark win it? Jamie Lovemark, USC, 2007. Uh, that's a good pull. Yeah. I had no chance in this one. <laughs> I've got uh, the only University of California winner ever. The only Ole Miss winner ever. Ole Miss uh, is Ole Miss with Thornberry. Thornberry. Correct. Braden Thornberry. You, uh, what was the other one? Cal? Cal. The Golden oh, must Bears. have been on that Homa team. My, uh, it wasn't Michael Kim, was it? It was Michael oh, Kim. Yeah. Whoa. He was sick. Um. That you, that that uh that team was sick. That team was awesome. This guy like Michael left Weaver a thirty six or fifty four hole lead to go see his child being born. Pat Perez? No, no, that was a different. Thing. Pat Perez would never. Oh, uh, Hunter Mahan. Hunter Mahan, two thousand three, oh. Oklahoma State. <clears throat> Man, hmm. did Pablo Martin win it from Oklahoma State? Oh. He did. 2006. There we go. Was I this like prime, you... prime KP undergrad years right now? Well, I, mean, I was, all of them I was Oklahoma. at Oklahoma State. Yeah. Oklahoma State's yeah. won like 20% uh, uh, of all of them. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'm, I'm glad I didn't run into Kyle in the finals. Uh, some others. I think it's one of those questions that 
it seems a lot easier as we're naming them off than it does when you first get the question. Well, you can also be wrong. You can be wrong now. You just totally. throw out names. Like when you first get the question, like when I first heard the question, I was like, I have no, I mean, I could get like two of these guys and that's all I, that's all I got. But now that we're naming them, you're like, oh yeah, of course. Uh, so we've gone through everyone back to 2010, uh, Matt Hill, 2009, Kevin Chapel, 2008. Kevin Chapel. A couple other where notables. Did, where did you go to school? UCLA. UNLV? UCLA. Uh, okay. A couple hmm. other notables would have been Graham McDowell, uh, UAB, 2002. Hmm. I don't think we got Luke Donald, 1999. Northwestern. Northwestern. Stuart Sink, Georgia Tech, 95. Yeah. Uh, Georgia Tech, 93. David Duvall. Mm. And then hmm. that's – those are the notes. I mean, Billy Mayfair. but Davis those, Love? Uh, no Davis Love. Ollie Schneider Jans? Nope. No? Nope. nope. So Man, those Ollie. are the – I think you won the, the NCAAs maybe. But with that, <laughs> I had no chance. Congrats, Patrick. Patrick, well-earned. You were perfect. Yep. Thanks, you guys. I uh, I was hoping you guys would say something bad about me so I could uh, – no, no, you, you did great, but, but I, I, I appreciate it. Yeah, it was it was an impressive, impressive performance. Like Spieth showing up at the at the Masters in twenty, whatever it was, fourteen, and just first appearance lighting the world on fire. Yeah, <clears throat> transfer it, that it, trophy over. We'll do it. Yeah, take it. I would love to do another one of these not for the trophy you can keep the trophy but i just think they're fun they probably also take like 15 hours of rick's time to put them together <laughs> so easy for me to say but can we get a team can we get a research team on that to to alleviate rick of the work it the is setup, uh... the setup like all, the initial rounds that is some serious work yes yeah. once you get to haskins award it's a you're looking at a wiki list it's a wiki list right i thought you printed out up. all of those yeah <laughs> mm. <laughs> I, um, did. I did print them out. I just didn't look at the, at the college golf stuff. <laughs> this is our, uh, so this is going to live for the rest of the week. Happy Hanukkah. Merry Christmas. Uh, happy Kwanzaa, I think, is at the end of the month for everyone. Uh, and then we've been teasing this, but we're going to have to finally pull the trigger on it for, for next week where we do the very long, like, grade live the good, the bad, the ugly of live and the PGA tour and like every, like all of that is going to have to happen next week. Looking forward to it. Happy holidays. Do we have anything tomorrow? (laughs) No. Okay. You get, you get your, your Tuesday off from this. Great. Cool. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, Okay. Producer Troy does all the hard work behind the scenes. Uh, Greg Ducharme, who is currently wearing a hat that says Jingle This, Jingle is Bryson a- is available on Twitter at the Real GFD. Kyle Porter, uh, who Normal Sport is out, you can buy that, get yourself some prints, all that fun stuff is available at Kyle Porter CBS. But it is the champ, yes, Patrick McDonald, perfect Patrick, they call. <laughs> Who can be found at amateur status on Twitter. Uh, Congratulations. You can find me at Rick Run Good. This has been the first cut. Goodbye.